Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of May tarot reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We're going to see whatever comes up. This is for the Capricorn for the end of May. What do they need to hear to help them do whatever they got to do? What? How can we empower Capricorn at the end of May? This is about helping Capricorn. What do they need to hear? What do they need to do? Where do they need to go? What's coming in? Feel free if you'd like to book a reading. I am, the information is below. I have a $50 reading, five business days, 20 minutes, and you wouldn't believe what we can cover in 20 minutes. Two questions. It's great. I also have Instago for Apple iPhone users. I also have a 24 hour reading when I have slots available. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to hear this last half of May? It's time to start over. Okay? This is you have a new beginning right in front of you. You may be unaware of this change that's coming, but it's coming, Capricorn. It is. It could be coming very quickly. You could be going through a transformation and not even knowing it. You guys are moving forward. You're in control. Your willpower is very high at this time. I see success. I see victory. I feel like there's a lot of mental strength here. You're, you're really mastering your emotions and moving forward. It's like you are not being held back by anybody. Nobody. Ah, well, except your emotions, perhaps. So, you know, I mean, your your thoughts could hold you back, right? I mean, that certainly could be the case. Somebody is going through some emotional difficulty, but they're still moving forward, which is pretty interesting. You're still hurting, but you're still moving forward. Well, great. That's the way it's supposed to be, right? You may have some regrets about the past. Yeah, that's probably what it is. You may have some regrets, but you're moving forward anyway. You know, the past is the past, so whatever. Um, there's some sort of relationship here that is... You know, there is some sort of happiness. You could be feeling happy. You could, The storm is over. The storm is over. That's what's going on here. The worst is over because you guys are, on, are starting a new journey. Interesting. It's happening quickly. Things are happening very fast for you. Very fast. And it's like, it's, it's, it seems like it's too good to be true. It's like, what the hell is going on here? It's like you guys are starting a new cycle in your life and you may be you may go through ups and downs, you know, really really happy and then and then sad like what the hell is going on here? You may feel like you need to withdraw for a little bit because things are happening too fast and you need to, you know, you are an earth sign, you need to step back and focus on all the changes that are happening. I feel as though, you know, this this mysterious unknown isn't really good for you. You know, it's like, oh, I don't know about this mysterious unknown. I'd, I'd kind of like to know what the hell is going on in my life. So I feel like you're probably feeling a little lack of cooperation. Maybe you don't really want to cooperate with this mysterious unknown. No, no, no. I, I really want to know what's going on. And that could be why you're taking the lead and you're, you know, you're pushing forward because you want to still be in control. So there's definitely is some, some control here. You are in control of your life, even though there is some mysterious aspects that are trying to, to push themselves into your life. You're like, huh, well, you know, I'm not sure. I really need to know. I really need to know what is going on here. So you may be being, um, you know, there may be th th this three of pentacles reversed. This is lack of, lack of communication, lack of appreciation, lack of togetherness, lack of teamwork, 
So there's like I said, and this is the mysterious unknown I was just telling you about. There's a there's a bit of mystery here in which I don't think you like. Okay, you're you're not comfortable with this mystery, you know. And I feel as though you're probably trying to charge ahead very quickly because you don't want you don't want to deal with this. You want you want to know what's going on right now. So you're going to take the lead. You're in control and you're going to keep in control. And you're not going to let this, you're not going to let fear hold you back of this, whatever this unknown is. You're not, you're going forward. You're going to find out what the hell this unknown is. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me get this zoomed in. Yes, you are the boss. I am the boss. I am the boss. Very nice. Pretty well zoomed in, but we're just going to go a little bit further. So somebody, is starting over on a new journey. They're charging forward very, very quickly, not looking back because there was no more passion there. There was no more growth. There was no spark. There was no spark. So it's just like, you know, I'd rather be alone than be in a situation where the spark is gone. So it feels like you guys are moving forward to remove yourself from a situation that has reached a dead end. Even though this unknown is here, you're going to have to take a risk and take a leap of faith. You're doing it. I'm taking that leap of faith, but I ain't wasting my time taking that leap of faith. I'm taking that leap of faith with my pedal to the metal. We're going to charge forward. We're going to figure out what this faith is right now. You know, that's what it is. It's like I'm not going to sit back and wait for things to happen. I think you guys are taking action. You are being the boss. You are dominating this whole situation. Okay, you're dominating the fear. You're. It's like you're looking fear right in the eye and saying, you know what? You don't got me. I got you. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are really, it's almost like you're in battle mode, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're not going to give up on any situation whatsoever that you believe in. And should anybody get in the way, they will get trampled over, they could get hurt, um... And you don't care, you don't care what the, what, what the hell, you know, you don't care what, if they get in your way, you don't care about what if, there's no what ifs here. I'm, I'm going for this and if you don't like it, then don't involve yourself because I'm moving forward, whatever it is. Hmm, interesting. There's been a lack of contentment in one situation in your life. There's been too much, too much boredom, too much insecurity, too much unhappiness, too much, uh, too many tempers flying back and forth. There's been impatience. There's been imbalance. There's been, uh, there could have been some addictions that were getting in the way. There, somebody was obsessive, um, greedy. They didn't show love in your situation. They were only focused on the money that they could get. They weren't focused on the love. And you were wanting this romance. And it feels like now you have finally... The, the, the light has been shown on this, this person. This difficult time that you have been through. You know, the, the, the worst is over. Trust me. The storm is over. You have realized what has happened. And I feel as though you are about to start a brand new journey that will bring you the happiness that you seek, but but you are going to have to stop clinging to the past, okay? And that's why you're moving forward. I think you're moving away from the past. You are. You're going to let go of this clinging. You're going to let go of the past, and you're going to take a risk. And I think that the, whatever risk this is to move forward, you're gonna. It's going to be pretty sudden, and you're going to move forward very, very quickly. It's like no fear can stop you, Capricorn. No fear. And I think it's because you're on the quest for love, some kind of love. Okay, you're on some kind of quest because there's been no love in your situation 
for a while whatever this is there's been no love and i feel as though now you are moving forward you're wanting more you're following your dreams you're dreaming of this love and it feels like you're you're really looking for this offer or you're about to give an offer of love after a time of almost um it's like complete unhappiness you know i see a period of complete unhappiness um where there was no emotional fulfillment, okay? You weren't, there was no love. There was no emotional, loving, contentment, fulfillment, which caused somebody to feel lost and empty inside. And I think there's been like some kind of switch that has been flipped where you decide to just let go of the past and and get in your car and or get in your right state of mind and get the hell out of this situation, lickety split and start this new journey with without bringing the past with you. I feel like you're letting the past go very, very quickly and the fear is just not even there. I don't even see the fear, Capricorn. There's no fear here. And usually in every reading, there's fear, fear, fear. I don't see fear. There's no fear, Capricorn. It's like, mm -mm, none. Because you you know what you're going after. And I think the most difficult period that you've just went through is absolutely over. Okay. And you, you know, I have to tell you, you may be self-medicating, you know, self-medicating during this, you know, this time that you've been through. There's been some sort of emotional loss. And during that time, you may have been trying to escape the, the pressures and the reality of whatever was happening. What, you know, what, wherever you, when you came to the conclusion that this wasn't love, you may have decided to self-medicate, but it looks like, you know, you're coming out of that because I think I see like a transformation. You're you're transforming from one phase to another, from the old you to the new you. And I feel like this new you is completely different than the old you. Okay, it is. I mean, this these two cards, the the fool card and the chariot card. Somebody is moving very quickly in the right direction towards a brand new start where they've never been before. Okay, so. I feel like the end of this month is about you guys taking the lead to bring victory and success after you found out about a situation that wasn't as lovely as you thought, okay? That's what I see. You guys are moving forward. I don't see any new love coming in this week because I feel like you guys are out. You're going. You're looking for it. You are on the hunt. It's like, you know what? I'm going to find it. I'm going to get it. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. I mean, there could be an offer with this Knight of Cups. There could be an offer of love that comes in. But you may, and it could be when you're out drinking, you know, you're out partying it up and this new person comes into your life. That could certainly happen. But I, it may not, okay? So, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. But there could be an offer of love that that is quite unexpected, okay? Could happen. But I do see that things are changing for you for the better, Capricorn. Because you guys are mastering your emotion. There ain't no fear holding you back. Congratulations. Because there aren't very many signs that I can tell that to. I don't think there's any. There's no fear here. I have no fear. And therefore, you will be successful because you have no fear. There's no fear here. Oh, we got two. We're going to take them both. Rest in independence. Rest and relax. Release guilt and make your needs a top priority. At the end of May, this is what needs to happen. Because I can see that you guys are going to want to go whew, full speed ahead. There, That's evident. With this Knight of Swords and the Chariot card, you guys are going to be like whew, kicking that horse in the ass. You know what I'm saying? So rest and relax. Take your time. Release guilt and make your needs a top priority. Independence. Decide for yourself. Exercise your right to choose. And this is the case for some of you. 
some of you need to choose independence because you're dealing with somebody that's not in love, whether it's you or the other person. So anyway, this is what I have for the end of May. I see no fear. I see you're moving forward. You're headed in the right direction very, very, very quickly. Congratulations, Capricorn.